Hey YouTube fam, I'm here with a wig from Nadula Hair. Inside they gave me a wig pack cap, they have the elastic band, they even sent me some face masks, which I definitely appreciate. So here is the hair, this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal, it is a Brazilian body wave wig, it is 180% density and 22 inches. I really like the body wave texture. It's very full, very bouncy. I like the luster. It's looking really good. Now before styling this hair, I did wash the hair with some Shea Moisture products, a shampoo that I have. And afterwards, I blew it out with my Revlon One Step Blow Dryer. Y'all know how much I love that blow dryer. And it took probably a good maybe 10 minutes to blow it out. Now I did get the medium brown lace on this wig, but it's still very light for me, so I did go in with my Ebb and Tint spray, and you will see the difference here. Once I sprayed it, it's definitely tinted brown. Now even though I received the 22 inches in this hair, when I looked at it, I was like, this seems longer. So I did pull my measuring tape, and sure enough, this hair measures to 26 inches. Lately, I've been using my bedhead spray to adhere my wigs. Shout outs to Natural Joy because she's the one that put me on and I really like it. It does feel even more secure than the Got To Be Glue Spray. And I blow it down with my hair dryer. And then I use my CoverGirl foundation in the color D90 to just blend the lace. And that's been working pretty well for me. I pat it down with my sponge. And just here, I'm just looking at the hairline. It could be a little bit more pre-plucked, but that's up to personal preference. Now here, I just wanted you to see how the hair falls on me once it was blown out straight. It is definitely very long. It is past my belly button, and it reaches my tailbone. So it's definitely a true 26 inches. Now today, we are doing something different, you guys. We're going to crimp some hair. So I got my... Crimp iron from um, Amazon, and I'll leave a link to them in the description box down below. I got a big one and a small one, so we're just gonna make it do what it do. Just so you know, this is my first time crimping hair, so <laughs> we're gonna struggle through this together. I started out by just taking a section and, you know, getting it ready to crimp. I do think that you really need to make sure you have some type of hairspray. I am just using my Got To Be Glue Free spray that I already have on hand, spraying it there on that strand and then applying the crimp iron. Now my first time doing it, the crimp was not coming out. So I tried again. And um, <laughs> you see how that went. All right, now they say third time's a charm, so I was like, all right, Gladys, even though you just burned the crap out of yourself, let's let's get this going. And I was holding it at this point, I think, for 10 seconds per crimp. That's something I had to learn very quickly with this process. Like, crimping definitely takes patience. So I did my first crimp. Not bad, Gladys, not bad. All right, so I came at it again with the Got To Be Glue Spray, spraying it all over that section, and I'm going at it with the crimp iron, holding anywhere from 10 seconds to 13 seconds per crimp. Now, the cool thing about this iron is that you can actually adjust how um, crimp you want the crimp. There is something that you can twist at the top of the crimp iron that will um, adjust the style of the crimp, so I thought that was really cool. Ideally, I think it's best to have some type of banana clips when keeping your hair over to the side, but I literally just was just placing the hair behind my shoulder and taking it out when I need it. At this point, I really like how my crimps were coming out. They were looking pretty defined. I was still holding it for about 13 seconds, and I was getting a little excited. I was like, oh, your girl is doing this. She is crimping hair. But again, it definitely takes patience. So please take your time. And this iron goes up to 400 degrees. So please be careful. Don't be like me where I burnt my thumb and burnt my forehead. <laughs> this is what it looks like crimped versus uncrimped. Tell me what you think. Let me know in the comments down below how you're feeling about this hairstyle so far. Have you tried crimping before? Let me know. Have you tried this iron? This is the Bedhead Away We Go Adjustable Waver. So like I said, it allows for multiple types of crimps. And I like it. 
it's a little bulky but once I got into the groove of crimping the hair it became easier to handle. Now I know the top of the wig is still pretty puffy but I do fix that afterwards. I went in with my blow dryer and just flatten on the top like I normally do with all of my wigs. Now at this point I did pull out the smaller crimp iron to see what the pattern looked like and you can see here a slight difference. I will show it again where you'll see probably even more of a difference. But the smaller crimp iron worked just as well, it just gave a different pattern as you can see in this close up here. Um, Alright, so I am back with this hair. This is my first time crimping hair and I think it came out pretty decent. I was going for a very defined crimp look, but some sections weren't as defined as others, so I ended up kind of like finger combing it out a little bit to give it more of a soft beach wave look, which I think is very pretty. So I think it's a matter of preference whether you prefer it to be very defined or more soft. I have two tips just to keep in mind when you're crimping hair. First tip is to definitely be patient. I have the patience of a saint and even I was like, wow, this is Oh, some of these aren't coming out the way I want them to. Ah! I was getting a little irritated, but I think patience goes a long way because when you're holding each individual crimp, you need to hold it for a certain amount of seconds. And I experimented with that, like 10 seconds or versus 15 seconds. I think somewhere between there is probably good. It's probably best. But I'm actually going to watch a few more reviews to see what other people do. My second tip is to make sure you use hairspray. I just used what I had, my Got To Be Glue Free Spray. However, if you want this style to last, I don't think you should use the Got To Be Glue Free Spray. I just don't see this holding for a long time. So you might have to look into something that has a really super firm hold. If you've crimped hair before and if you have suggestions on a very good hairspray like helmet spray, leave them in the comments down below. Overall, I will say I really like the hair y'all. It's very soft to touch. As I finger comb through it throughout the whole process, I didn't get any tangles whatsoever. I did get very minimal shedding during the washing process and after washing, but it was nothing to like write home about as an issue. The one thing I do have an issue with with this unit is the cap size and on the website it says average and I do have a medium sized head but the cap size isn't fitting me properly and my edges are definitely exposed and I was pulling to make sure like hey is it just me but I also think because this cap isn't the stretchiest cap I think that adds to it so if you have a small to medium sized head I think this cap could work for you like medium but if you have a larger head this might not be the best fit for you however this is not the only wig available on the doula's website they have a slew of other units to choose from and they have a sale going on. You can shop their Mother's Day sale where they have wigs up to 50% off. You can also use my code, which will be linked in my comment and also in the description box and doula20 for $20 off. But yeah, this hair is really nice, y'all. I can't wait to put some like barrel curls in this. Oh my God, it's gonna be so freaking pretty. Let me know how you feel about this hair in the comments down below. Have you tried to do it here before? Are you willing to try this unit? Let me know. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Okay. Okay. Hit that notification bell as well so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Shout out to the doula here for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. And as always, if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so, so much for joining me for this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Boy, you never find another love.